What's up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and before we get started with today's Wix tutorial, I just wanted to let you guys know, check out the link below to go sign up for your Wix account. Um, it is my uh, affiliate link, I'll be honest with you guys, um, because I know sometimes YouTubers don't really want to tell you that, but I'm, I'll am i be the first to tell you. My affiliate link is down below, so if you guys are looking to go sign up for Wix or have um, not already, please go do that with my link down below. I really appreciate that. Now let's get into today's tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to add an event and uh, send invitations to an event and get a guest list and RSVP all with Wix. So we're going to go up here to the app market. Then we're going to type in Wix and you'll see Wix events. It's an app by Wix. You'll click that. Then you'll click add to site. You'll see this will pop up right here. You'll obviously drag this to whatever page you need to drag it to. And that's that. But then we need to obviously set an event. So we're going to go into settings. Once we get into settings, you could choose, we'll get into this in a second, but you could choose the layout. Um, you could see side by side, which is that style, the compact style, which is that. You choose the alignment of your text, wherever you want that to be. You choose the settings of it, so the time, location. Um, you could choose whether to show the event name, what is the event name, a countdown. You could choose to show any of that. Again, all of this stuff is customized to your needs, and you'll hear me say that a lot in my videos because all of the design work is completely up to you and how it looks on your website, which leads me to this tab, which again, you could choose the text, buttons, background, and spacing, all dependent upon your website. But now let's get into the nitty gritty, which is how to manage your events. So you'll go into here to manage event, and then you'll see it's a nice user interface. You'll see right here, event details. So this is how you create an event. You would give it a name, give it the date, time, um, The usually depending on whether your event's local and all of your web traffic, is local you're gonna to want to put your time zone you could add an end time although it's not required um, if it's at a location you're obviously gonna to want to put the venue or address right there and then you're gonna move on to event registration this is where you could choose RSVP options people could only say yes or they have the option to approve, like say yes or no to your event um, this option might be nice if you'd like to see how conversions do to a certain event but if you know people are coming in you might want it to only say yes um, then you would click save and then you could choose a guest limit so um, it's maybe limited guests maybe you're having a event that only hosts 50 people and you only want it to host 50 people you would type in here 50 and then you would click um, save and then you could also choose with whether the guest reaches the max, like when it reaches the max limit of number of guests, you would choose to either close the registration or you could have guests added to a wait list, which is pretty cool. Um, that's something to experiment with. Click save. And then you would click on, well, you've already did guest limit. You would click on automatic emails. So this is like your confirmation, um, a waiting list email or a cancellation email. These are all the emails that would go out uh, triggered by whatever happens with the sign up of the event. If they sign up, they'll get a confirmation email. If they're put on a waiting list, they'll get the waiting list email. If they cancel or the event's canceled, they would get a cancellation email. And you could customize all of these, choose exactly how you want them to look and go, um, and then you would simply click save. Again, customized to your needs. And then you see invitations. After you create your event, um, you would simply create invitations. Same with guest list. You have to create your event, and then you could see your guest list right there. So Wix Events is actually a really cool, sharp-looking app design um, that you could really utilize, especially if you're like a business and you're trying to get customers into your event or new prospects into your event. I definitely recommend giving this app a shot. Again, this is Wix Events. So if this video helped you guys out, please drop me a like down below. It's much appreciated. Subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert for some more awesome Wix content, and I really also appreciate the subscription. 
Um, and if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything with Wix or this video, please let me know down below. And finally, do not forget to go ahead and sign up for Wix.com using the link below. I'd really appreciate it and you guys would make my day. No, you'd make my week. And for all of you that see this video later on, you'll make whatever week that's in. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for spending a couple minutes with me. I appreciate that, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.